Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial all about the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I did put a poll on my Facebook and I asked if you guys wanted to see a neutral eye or a smoky eye with this palette. And actually the poll was pretty close. There was It was just barely smoky eye. So I did create this smoky eye. But I do want to create a neutral eye since it was so close. But I do have some videos in mind for the next couple videos and then I will get to filming a neutral eye with this palette. If you guys miss that poll, then go ahead and I always leave the links for my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also my vlogging channel, and also my husband's channel. I always leave the links for all of those down below in the description box. So if you wanna go follow those pages, so go follow those pages and then you won't be able to miss any polls, questions, behind the scenes, um, hints for other videos, all of that. Um, I'm pretty active in social media. Not as much on Twitter. <laughs> I don't have a very good following on Twitter, so I, I guess like the only way to fix that is to be more active on it. But um, if you wanna help a girl out, go follow me on Twitter. Again, I have everything linked down below. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get started this video. It is a very classic smoky eye. It's cool toned, which is kind of different for me. Um, but I used all of the colors I used on my eyes came from whoa, this palette. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then please stick around. Alright guys, so I have zoomed you in so that you could see a little bit better. Um, I'm going to start with the eyes and that is because when I do a smoky eye, well really when anyone does a smoky eye, a lot of that color falls down, that dark pigmented color falls down and it could really ruin your foundation. Um, so I am going to start with the eyes and then do the face last. The very first thing I'm going to do though is moisturize my lips with this EOS lip balm. I like to do this before I do my makeup. Um, just so that by the time I get to the lips, like, my lips aren't super chapped and have that grossness that you can see, like, when the lipstick really emphasizes. Okay, so, here it is, the Naked 2 palette. Let me give you a good look. When I did the Sweet Peach, Sweet Peach palette, I didn't give you a really good look at the palette, and I was like, oops. But here is, little focus, a good look at the palette. So, so many neutrals, a lot of cool tones, um, which is kind of perfect because I'm going to do a cool toned smoky eye today, which is sort of out of my comfort zone. I'm really used to the warmer tones, but I'm excited. The first thing I'm going to do is take teas right here, and it is a cool toned brown. I'm going to take my fluffy blending brush, I'm going to start putting that in the crease. As the product comes off my brush, I'm going to be just sweeping that all across my lid and up towards my eyebrow. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Pistol, which is right here. It is a gray silver with a little bit of shimmer in it. It's not necessarily sparkly. I'm going to take my blending brush, tap that in there, and I'm going to start going right in that transition uh, area again and I'm going to be focusing most of this color on the outer corner and then as the product comes off the brush bringing it more in and up now I'm going to take a denser brush and this is actually the brush that came in the naked 2 palette and it is the crease end there are two sides there's the crease end and then the flat side and I'm going to take a little bit more of that pistol and really focus that in the crease and deepen that up just a little bit more and this will really help with blending later on. Okay, so next I'm going to be going in with Verve right here. It's a beautiful metallic silver shade. And I'm going to take the other side of the, na the brush that comes in the Naked 2 palette, the flat side, and I'm going to be putting that all over my lid. 
and I pull my eyelid taut like that just because such a, it's such a metallic color it really um, helps bring out that pigmentation and you can get all over the lid and I'm just gonna focus this on the inner half I'm not necessarily gonna go too far since we want the outer corner to be dark darker and more smoky On the other side of that brush, I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of Booty Call right there. It's my favorite highlighting shade. Um, and I'm going to be putting that just in the center and just a tiny bit just to brighten up the center a little bit. Alright guys, so next I'm going to go in with Busted. Right, <laughs> right there, that second to the last one. And this is um, a, a brown and it has some kind of purple undertones in it and it's like a deep color. So I'm gonna go in and deepen up that outer portion of my eye. And you can really go as deep as you want like this. I'm gonna go pretty dark since I'm going for a pretty dramatic smoky eye. But you, don't, you can just do one layer, two layers of this color. And I'm really gonna just deepen that up. I'm gonna go from the outer corner and go up. And I'm also gonna go like right in the, and this pretty much from this half is the dark and this half is the bright silver. After I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in and blend that out really well. And usually when you blend, you kind of have to go in at least one more time to reapply because with blending, you do you lose some of that color. So after I go in and darken up the outer corner, I like to go in one more time with that silver and really brighten that up so that it really pops. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with eyeliner and I'm going to use the Mary Kay Liquid Eyeliner Pen in black. I'm go not going to do a huge wing, but I'm going to draw a thick line. So let's see if I can, you guys might see my mirror here for a second to like put that more okay so I always start out I follow the line from my bottom lash line to the corner of my eyebrow and just depending on how big I want or how long I want that wing I'm not gonna do a, a very big one that's probably good but I'm gonna do a thick line I just draw a line out and then I literally just connect the dots go from the tip here all the way to my inner corner and then fill in that line and then I'm gonna do the same with the other side so as silly as this next step might be um, I do like to go in one more time with busted and really darken that up and it kind of makes it look more like a cat eye when you do this, it's okay if you go over that eyeliner, you're gonna darken it up again. And this just really helps it make it look one more smoky and two really helps it look more like a cat eye. So this next step is totally optional. I just wanted to deepen this up a little bit more. So I'm gonna take that um, Naked 2 crease, crease brush and I'm going to tap it just lightly, very, very lightly in blackout and I'm just going to just tap in this outer corner just to smoke it out even more. Next with a smaller precise brush, I am going to be taking my favorite highlighting shade which is Booty Call. Oh, almost dropped that. And I'm going to be putting that underneath my brow as a highlight. Woo! And I'm going to take that down just a little bit because I'm going to be blending that out just to make sure 
that it is very seamless going from that trans that darker shade to the transition to shade to the highlighting shade. So with a clean blending brush, I'm going to be lightly blending that just to make sure it's very seamless. Then with my makeup remover, I'm using the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. You can use any one that you have. I'm going to take that in a Q-tip and really clean up that fallout and sharpen up that cat eye. And there you can see it gets a, gives it a pretty dramatic cat eye. So next I'm going to put mascara on my top lashes. I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt. And I'm going to throw a couple of coats on my top lashes. You can always use false lashes. It will give the look a lot more of a dramatic edge. Or if you want to just kind of go simple, then you can go this route and just put a few coats on the top lashes. All right, so now we can move on to foundation. I'm using my go-to foundation. This is my favorite foundation, and I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, and I'm in the shade W3. When I put this on my face, it does not look like it's my shade. It does look like it's dark, and that's because, well, it kind of is, because I got this when I had a really good tan, but also it's really good at matching to the rest of my body. I have, like, you can't tell with this lighting because it's super bright, but the rest of my body is more tan than my face. And so if I have like a super white face and then the rest of my body's tan, it kind of looks funny. So, um, I'm, but I'm not going to use a whole lot. I'm just going to make sure to go over with those blemishes better than other spots. I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge to start blending that in. I usually don't focus too much on the under eye area with foundation because I do go in with concealer so I cover that up anyway but I do put like a light I go up there just lightly and then I go back down and that's pretty much all I do with the foundation part next I'm going to take my max select cover up to highlight so I'm gonna put this all in the areas that I usually highlight put some in the back of my hand just go for it. And now I'm done. Just kidding. I look like an alien. Let's fix that. Make sure to be super careful right where that eyeliner goes because you are going to bring it up from that inner corner up to your temples. And you don't want to go over the eyeliner or that concealer because it will brighten up the eyeliner, which you don't want to brighten up the eyeliner. You want it dark. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I am using my, using my usual two different uh, brow pencils. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe, and I am using the Milani Easy Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I use Taupe for the inner half, and then I use Dark Brown for the outer half, because you kind of want it to be that ombre effect. I do explain a little bit more in my brow tutorial, which I will have linked down below, so I'm going to just kind of skip this part. All right, so now I'm going to be taking Busted again, and I'm going to be taking this, uh, you can't really see it, flat angled brush and I'm going to just press that into my lower lash line next I'm going to go in with that small brush again and I'm going to be taking the shade snake bite right here it is such a beautiful color it is like a brown with like gold shimmer flakes in it and it's so beautiful so I'm going to be taking that with that brush and I'm going to be brushing that along my lower lash line to really smoke that out. I 
Next, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush to really blend that out. Then I'm gonna take Verve again, and that was that bright silver. And I'm gonna be putting that in my, um, and I'm gonna use a small pencil brush, and I'm gonna be putting that in my inner corner, and also bring that along kind of right in that lower lash line, just in the inner corner. And this really will help make the eyes pop and give it more of a dramatic look. To set that under eye concealer, you can use any powder that you have. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD setting powder. And this will really help prevent creasing. Now I'm going to throw some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm using the MARC Lash All You Want mascara in black. So now it is time for some contour and to warm up this face. I am going to be using my usual, the contour from the Ulta Beauty Makeup, makeup Kit right here. And I'm going to be taking an angled brush. I'm just going to be creating that line. After I create that line, I'm going to be blending up without any additional product on this brush. You never want to blend down. That will definitely defeat the purpose of contouring and make your face look rounder. I'm also going to bronze up the top of my forehead just to even everything out and pull the whole look together. For blush, I'm going to be using my go-to blush and that is the Clinique Blushing Blush Powder Blush in the shade Precious Posy. And with a fluffy brush, I'm going to sweep down the apples of my cheeks and back towards my bronzer. lips I'm going to be take one, taking one of my favorite shades the Milani Amore lip cream and this is in the shade precious to highlight I'm going to take the hi the white highlight that comes in the Ulta Beauty makeup kit and I'm going to be putting that on the tops of my cheekbones and I'm just gonna go over all of that with my beauty spoon just to make sure it all blends into the skin and looks more natural. This last step is completely optional. I just wanted to make this look a little bit more smoky and so I'm going to oh, oh, I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs uh, come on camera. Oh, come on Renee. My Marc Jacobs black eyeliner and put that in my waterline. All right guys, so this completes this look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be on the lookout for another Naked 2 tutorial. I wanna do a neutral eye, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, but I do have a few videos that I wanna to get to first. So be on the lookout for that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.